A long time ago, a man named Newton said that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, does that make very much sense? It may not, but that's okay, because in this experiment, I'm going to show you how it works. Take some thread and thread it through a straw. Now tie the piece of thread to a doorknob, or a cupboard, or a chair. Now, go some length and tie it to something else. Make sure it's really tight. All right. Now, as you'll see, I have a little bit of an incline. Now that's not necessary, but it's kind of fun for this experiment. Now, take a balloon and blow it up. You might want to stretch it out first, but that's about good. Now, take the open end and twist it a couple times. And take a clip and clip the open end. See? Now, take a piece of tape, get a couple long pieces of tape, about six to eight inches each, and tape the balloon to the straw. Now what do you think will happen when I release this clip? Make sure you write down your guess. Did you see that? It shot all the way across and even up the incline. Now why do you think it did that? Well, when I had the balloon blowed up all the way, there was a lot of air pressure inside. The pressure was greater inside the balloon than the pressure was outside. And when I let the open end release the pressure, it made it so there was force. The pressure that was greater inside wanted to get out. When that, when that force got out, it pushed it. Because the open end was pointing this direction, the air that was on the inside of the balloon pushed out that way. And like that that guy Newton said, when there was an action, the air blowing that way, the equal reaction was the straw and the balloon moving this way.